But the thing is, they can't say shit, and they can say crap, but only twice in an episode. Oh yeah, yeah. That's kind of weird. And welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers <laughs> Podcast. That's also a video. I'm Brett. I'm Frank. And today we're talking about something that's not so funny. <laughs> it's Alex Gonzaga and what she said on Pinoy Big Brother about non believers. So, what did she say? You can go to this link, watch it yourself. It's uh, short, it starts at the 40 second mark, I think. Or you could just watch Frank's impersonation of Alex Gonzaga. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Uh, basically, what she said was that um, non-believers. Bad impersonation. Yeah, it's a bad impersonation. But non-believers, um, when they have troubles, like there's, uh, they're not, they don't go to God. They, they, if they're stealing, they're gonna continue stealing. If they get pregnant, they're gonna have an abortion. Things like that. They correct a wrong with a wrong. And that's the basic gist of what she said about mm. non-believers. I... But the difference sa mga non-believers sa walang Dios sa buhay. Pag nagkaroon sila ng problema, nagde-deteriorate sila kung saan-saan sila pupunta. Iinom sila, magde-drug sila, magwawala sila, iko-correct nila ang isang mali sa panibagong mali. Nabuntis sila, it's either pa-abort nila. Nagnakaw sila, it's either magnakaw uli sila. Either or, like expert usage of either and or in what she said. Also, yeah, she said, if you steal, instead yeah. of like giving the money back, you steal again to solve your... Theft. Yeah, I think the context of what she was saying is yeah. that she's trying to um, sell God and religiosity. The, the she was preaching. Had. Yeah, she was preaching. She was that, yeah, to be a good person, be a Christian. Okay, so we will look at what she said and also like our reactions to it because both of us are non-believers or atheists. So let's just do a check like um, here in this small sample. Like, have you stolen anything? No. Other than women's hearts who belong to <laughs> other men? No? No. Okay, I haven't stole, the, stole anything. I haven't also done an abortion. Although I have nothing wrong with people who have to resort to it. But I haven't done an abortion. I haven't stolen anything. And um, neither have a lot of atheists um, in the population, like um, right. studies show. Yeah, if, if you look at actual studies, which unfortunately are just from the States, we don't have studies for the Philippines, right? We don't, we haven't yet. Yeah, we um, don't have them yet. Yeah. But studies from the States show that the prison population of atheists is much lower than the outdoor population of atheists. Um, they are, atheists are actually 0.01, I think, percent? 0.07 um, percent. 0. 0. Yeah. Uh, 0. So, 0.07 percent. So compared to the population of like around 15 percent, I think, on average, like yeah. the global average. I so think. there are much fewer atheists who commit crimes than there are, like a percentage yeah. of atheists who commit crimes than there are believers. So in the countries like the U.S. that have like large populations of believers compared to non-believers, like even there, like believers resort to crime more than statistically than atheists do. Yeah. And let's look at countries that have like huge populations of religious people and huge populations of those without uh, religion. Mm -hmm. So if you take the logic that's used by Alex Gonzaga and what she said, yeah. we can expect that countries with more atheists would be more... Would be more, would have more criminals. More would criminals? More thieves, yeah, that would be a murderers. horrible place, right? Yeah, but uh, it's not. I mean, okay, you spoiled it too early, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's but, not. Yeah, countries that are um, less religious... Have tend more to have, atheists. Yeah, organic atheists. More, yeah. Yes, and they tend to have less crimes, fewer crimes. Yeah, and countries that are more religious... Have, have more crimes. More crimes. Yeah, and it's not. We're not saying that that um, being an atheist makes you less of uh, makes you less likely to be a criminal. Mm. It's, it's uh, there are different factors yeah. for this. The first thing that Alex Gonzaga said wrong. Well, not the first thing, but the, <laughs> one of the many things. The the most basic mistake that she did is she overgeneralized. Right. Like. Uh, yeah. She's she's when she's she says atheists are this, atheists are that. When we know. For a fact, that atheists are are a very diverse yes, group, yes. and all they have in common is that they don't believe in God. Yeah, there are many kinds of atheists. I'm sure that there are criminal atheists. Yes, and, you definitely. Know, um, Fifteen percent is a huge number. Like that's the average mm -hmm. in many places in the world, and there's bound to be someone like Alex Gonzaga described. This crime. Yes. Who, yeah. There is uh, solves crime with another crime. Yeah, there right? are bound to be atheists who have abortions. I bet there are. Yeah. I mean, not, not that we have anything against it. I have anything against it. There are atheists who commit crime after crime. 
and yeah. solve, trying to solve a wrong with a wrong. Yeah. To say that all atheists are like this and you're going to be like this if you don't have God, mm. that's a broad overgeneralization. It's the same as some atheists who are, of course, they're hurt by these accusations. They overgeneralize on the other side, on, on theists, saying that theists are generally stupid. Yeah, I've heard, sure. of, like, I've heard that from a lot of people. They believe fairy tales. How can they be smart? Yeah, and, that's, and that's a wrong generalization. That's wrong. You do that. Of course, there are many theists who are intelligent, who, who think scientifically. And they just happen to believe in God. And that, you know, for whatever um, process that they went through, they ended up believing in God. And we're fine with that. We are fine with that. Some yeah. atheists aren't. But the thing is, it's uh, individuals. We should treat people as individuals and not just as huge groups. You'll always get it wrong when you overgeneralize. Yeah, and, and what really worries me, okay, we're talking about the reactions now of what, what Alex Gonzaga said, is what worries me is that she's not a random person on the street who holds this, this opinion. Yeah. You know a lot of people who have these opinions. Yeah. It's that she is someone who has airtime. Mm. Right? She is the sister of someone who's famous. Mm. And she, is, she was in, I think, Pinoy. Was that Pinoy Big Brother? She was in, right? She was kicked and, out. Uh, yeah, but she, was, she said this. Not because of what she said. Not because of what she said. Okay. But she said this while in the show. Mm. So yeah. a lot of people watch that show. And a lot mm -hmm. of people are hearing it. And you don't yeah. hear any other housemate yeah. saying anything against that. Saying that she's making a generalization. Yeah. Or that any of these things are wrong. It's like you're saying the sky is blue. Yeah. And you know the sun will shine. Like you're saying a statement yes. of fact. Yes. Which is, it's not. Yeah. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to fault Alex Gonzaga for all she said. I'm yeah. sure she did, she did not come by this herself. She did yeah. not come she to this conclusion. This. She was taught this. And yeah. I think... I don't, I don't even know, and I very much doubt that she knows personally any atheists. Mm. Because if you did, you'd know that, you, you would see an example right in front of you that this person isn't, isn't going around killing people or stealing from everyone. So Alex Gonzaga, here's an invitation for you to attend one of our meetups. We have many atheists there. We have also theists there, people who believe in God like you do. But there are atheists there and check them out, like see if they actually do the things that you right. think they do. Yeah. Um, I'm with Frank here. Like she was, um, she she said those things from a from an innocent and non malicious. You know, there was no malice, and I I don't think she meant to do harm. She was actually trying to do good. She was trying to convince people to believe in God, to trust in God, which for her is a value. Right. And in her scheme of things, in her worldview, like God equals good. Mm -hmm. Therefore, without God, there can be no good. Right. So it's simple as that. Yeah, and there's a danger, I think. Um, it is her opinion. I'm sure a lot of people share this opinion, like yeah. I mentioned. Um, the danger is parroting something and accept, uh, accepting something as true automatically without any evidence. Like you're yeah. seeing, you don't know a single atheist. You're taking yeah. someone's word for it to be true, and then you're parroting it. Yeah. And, you're, and, and it's different when you're telling your friend and yeah. it's different when you're preaching in front of mm. uh, in front of your your flock. Yeah. And then it's different again when you're in front of a camera talking to millions of Filipinos. Yeah. So um, before you make these over generalizations about a minority, especially or any group of people, even though they're not a even if they're not a minority, making these generalizations without verifying for yourself is dangerous. Yeah. And you're gonna and if anyone believes you, anyone in the house or anyone watching from home believes you that atheists are these demonic things yeah. that have no good in them. That's dangerous. That could Not be... that there's anything wrong with demons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but that, that could be very harmful. Yeah. Like, e emotionally, at least, or yeah. even physically, against other atheists. Uh, bottom line is it's prejudice. Yes, She's it perpetuating the prejudice against atheists. So it's no wonder that a lot of atheists would prefer to stay in the closet. Right. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and I... Um, when I came out to my family, for example, like yeah. I'm an atheist and my aunts were demonizing me like you, you'd, believe, you'd believe in this, believe in that. And I only need to give myself as an example, like yeah. I'm not the demon you're making me out to be. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't, she also mentioned like atheists do drugs, atheists do, do other things. Like I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't even drink coffee. Mm. Like I am the most vanilla person in my entire family yeah. and I am the non-believer. So mm -hmm. you really can't make these generalizations. Yeah, and uh, you raised an important point there. If you are an atheist and you are watching this, it shows you how important it is to be out there because it helps people have a better idea of what atheists are actually like. If, they, if someone has actually met an atheist, they couldn't say things like atheists would steal if they've stolen or just simply abort when, when yeah. the woman 
gets pregnant. I mean, these things um, could be true of some atheists, but I'm sure they're not true of all atheists. So if you're an atheist and you're still in the closet, consider this. If you're in a safer environment, just come out and you will be doing a big favor to the other atheists who are still in the closet because of the prejudice perpetuated by people like Alex Gonzaga. Uh, yeah, that's that's about all I had. <laughs> and it's a uh, yeah, it's the right time too because oh yeah, the twenty first of this month is actually Atheist Solidarity Day. Right. So if you know an atheist, like say hi. Mm. And uh, if you know if you if you know believers and you're out there as an atheist, like say hi too. Get get to know them and yeah. say and solidarity not just among atheists, yeah. but um, atheists with believers. Yeah. Uh, and if you're yeah, just get to know these people that you have such negative views of. I, I know that that's kind of tricky because you are afraid of them. I mean, that's that's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah. But more so, you have to get to know these people because um, the prejudice that you are just spreading isn't helping anyone. Um, atheists are a minority group, and although they're not as persecuted as other minority groups, let's say like um, LGBT individuals, right. like I don't hear of atheists being killed because of their atheism um, in the country, but that's actually a thing in, in other um, yeah. Asian countries. Like, for example, uh, my friend Alexander Ahn, oh, yeah. he was actually thrown in jail for simply like, starting a Facebook group for atheists, and he, he got two years, and um, he's been threatened with violence. Another friend, uh, uh, Karl Karnadi, mm -hmm. he's hiding in Germany because he will be killed if he goes back to Indonesia because he is an atheist. So here in the country, it's actually quite safe. You can come out as atheist, you won't get killed. Mm -hmm. And um, you will help out people, not just in the Philippines, but around the world to correct the prejudice. So um, <laughs> thank you for watching this episode. And Alex Gonzaga, come, come, to, to, come to a meetup. And we have coffee for you. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye.